Today's mission takes us to Falkirk to hang out with some of the guys from Smug Mug, and then this evening we've got camping. Hi everyone, we're in Michelle's kitchen and John, the man who said he did not want to work and he had to cook his own Scottish full, en full English Scottish breakfast has Full now English Scottish <laughs> has now, thanks to me, graduated to being a master in Michelle's kitchen <laughs> This is Hunter, Hunter Hunter's, Chicken, John. Hunter's Chicken, Hunter's yeah. Chicken. Tell us what's in Hunter's Chicken. Chicken, smoked bacon and cheese. Yum. And <laughs> you say that like you're going to eat it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the vegan isn't going to be eating that. No. But look at this. Look at the mess he's created. He's fabulously tidy, actually. I'm joking. Well done. This is for our camping trip, isn't it? With a few, few locals around that you don't understand. Yeah. <laughs> All right, John. So we are at, where are we Michelle? Loch I'll, I'll get her to say it. <laughs> We're in Loch Lubnig. Whereabouts is that? The Trossachs in the National Park. <laughs> We're actually just outside a, a little touristy place called Calendar. But yeah, this is the Trossachs National Park. I think it's 720 square miles. Okay. So that's where we are and we're camping by the side of the lock tonight and we've got dinner cooking and we've got the tent up which was fun because we'd not put this one up before, we'd borrowed it off Paul and he'd never put it up before either so it kind of works. If, if it's still standing in the morning we'll, we'll call that a success. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Is that kettle not boiled yet? No, nope. it's not. So what did you think camping would be like? Dismal. And is it dismal? No, but <laughs> as I say, it's because it's, I mean, I'm not worried about being cold because I've got thermal clothes on and right. I've got a really good sleeping bag. Right. I've got my eye mask and my my um, noise isolation earplugs. So if someone abducts you in the middle of the night, I might not notice. So yeah, this is the first time I've ever been camping. And it'll never be this good again, will it? No, of course not. <laughs> Yeah, this is really, yeah, the only really thing good. that would have made it better is some nice cold wine. Oh, the ducks are back. Hello. <laughs> she's cold, so she's literally standing on the fire. I am. Yeah. <laughs> well, this is day one of our little camping adventure. And what do you think so far? It's great. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Better than you expected. Oh, yeah. Yeah? I thought it would be dismal. And it's not been? Nope. Nope. What have you enjoyed the most? Just the view, the, the idea that you eat and drink and it's, it's quite a sense of freedom about it. Yeah, and what surprised you the most? Oh, Other gosh. than the weather? Well, ask me tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> it's not over yet, is it? I've not no. slept tonight, so if I don't sleep, maybe, maybe I'll be a bit irritated in the morning. <laughs> you wouldn't like her when she's angry. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, everyone says that. I don't yeah. get angry very often though. Road rage is a completely different thing. It's not oh, yeah. really being angry. Yeah, that doesn't count. No, doesn't count. No? No. And what do you think of Paul's tent? Really? <laughs> it's great. Yeah? The whole separate bedrooms and meet in the middle, living room type thing. Yeah. Just needs a couple of chairs in there. Yeah, yeah, we should have brought camping chairs. Yeah. No, I would have liked that rather than sitting on the ground. Yeah. Well, we got but a log, we can sit on the log. We can, I can sit in the log. Yeah, yes. and then we got the fire to keep us warm. Yes. Yeah. yeah. 
so no, it's good. That's it for now. I might turn on the camera again when I'm inside my nice warm sleeping bag. I might not. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Bye. Bye. I don't know if we can capture this, but we're sat here around the campfire having a brew and just chilling out. There's bats flying around, so I'm going to see if I can get some footage of them if they come back they've disappeared now that i've gotten up and picked the camera up so fingers crossed there's one here here it is here it came look how close it is did you see it yeah no they're dogs <laughs> <laughs> oh wow there's loads of them i know there's at least three So everything's packed up in the middle of the tent between the two little sleeping pods and and yeah it's we were gonna do some astrophotography but it's too cold and we're too 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 tired it's only 10 past 10 and and i'm ready to drop <laughs> i can still hear ducks outside i'm in my sleeping bag and i'm i'm gonna watch a movie because i brought my laptop so with that i'm gonna put a movie on and and say good night Time to get up, put a kettle on, make coffee. So you've been having fun, yeah? Yes. Coffee and fun. So you said to ask you in the morning yeah. about your camping experience. It was alright, yeah. I didn't sleep well, but that was the first time, I suppose. I kept having dreams about bears and people coming to steal our stuff. You know there's no bears in Scotland, right? It was a dream. <laughs> it's not obviously as comfortable as being in a bed. But no, it was good, it was good. It's nice to waken up to this, it's amazing. Absolutely gorgeous. Waking up with the ducks. Yeah. We're at the top of Loch Lubnig at the moment. Yeah. We're about here and you can see there's no camping there. A lot of people are missing the signs and they're not quite sure of where things are at at the moment. But basically the hatching area is a management zone. And there's places within that zone you can go. This isn't one of those places. With people feeling that they've been banned from doing something, but actually you haven't. It's just these sort of lock shore management zones, which yeah. are trying to just sort of regulate it a yeah. bit more. Apparently, we're not actually allowed to camp at this bit. The park rangers just came down. They were really, really cool, really awesome, and just explained how these new rules work. And apparently, they only came in about six weeks ago, so they're explaining it to a lot of people who are coming up here and camping and, and don't realize where they can't camp anymore. So, but I will put all the links in the description below so that if you guys come camping in Scotland, you don't get in trouble. But now we've taken up stuff to the car. We've got just enough down here that we can cook breakfast. So we're gonna go and do that in a minute. And, uh, and then we're off to go hang out with Paul in Kirk and Tillock for the day. But now I think I'm, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go put breakfast on, so bye.